This movie pulls off something difficult. It's a good tearjerker comedy. In a little bit of heaven, a free-spirited woman is diagnosed with terminal cancer. She still tackles life head on, and that leads to a romance with the doctor that's treating her. I was laughing, I was crying, and I enjoyed this rare type of film. Marley is winning at life. She has a great job, fantastic friend. She's got her bulldog, her booty calls, and no strings in her life. Her friends tell her that she seems to be losing weight, and she admits that she's not feeling great, so she goes to see her new doctor, Julian. She finds out she has stage four colon cancer, and the outlook isn't bright. But she doesn't stop being positive. She still goes out and parties with her friends. She still goes out and has a great time and begins to fall for the very man who diagnosed her with the big C. This type of odd romantic comedy is nothing new. The dying person who finally finds the love of their life. But here, this was an original take on that, and it was also funny. Marley is a woman with a wicked sense of humor. She's got this great outlook on life, and she doesn't lose any of that when she gets sick. Her relationship with Julian builds from doctor-patient to something more through well-plotted out moments in the script and humor so it doesn't feel like a forced romance. It just seems like two people with really bad timing are falling in love. And on all the rest of the relationships that are in her life with her friends and her family, each one of these is a story that gives us comedy and tragedy, and I I needed to see how each one of them ended. Kate Hudson makes Marley someone we want to spend time with. She's carefree, she's wild, but she's grounded in the love of her friends. As her cancer progresses, Hudson works hard to give us the same funny, independent woman, but coupled with a fear of the future, uncertainty, and heart-wrenching emotional scenes. Her fellow castmates do the exact same thing. They make their characters a great source of comedy for us. We're falling out laughing, and then they're the reason we start crying again. Now, when the movie gets a little bit too serious, it gets the tears start to flow too heavily, they call in special guest star Peter Dinklage from the Game of Thrones. You know, the man that put the imp back in pimp? He comes in with this great, hilarious role as a male prostitute, and it needed it. When you watch A Little Bit of Heaven, make sure you have the tissues on standby. A number of times during this movie, I had to pause it, take off the glasses, and wipe my eyes clear, and I loved it for that. This is a funny, warm-hearted, sad, tragic comedy that is obviously worth watching.